Hello friends. Uh, today is going to be my April TBR and it features the Disability Readathon. So this is a very laid back readathon. Uh, the idea of course is just to get you consuming content created by disabled people. And so the way it's set up is there are four categories and within each category there are several prompts for you to choose from and you just have to choose one prompt from each category although you don't have to do all four if you want to just do one prompt you can still say that you are participating and it's also very laid back in that it doesn't all have to actually be books so a lot of the prompts say things like read a text that so and so and by text they can mean any kind of content so that could be listening to a podcast or reading an instagram or twitter post it could be watching a youtube video it could be any kind of content created by a disabled person so it's, it's very adaptable it's very accessible for everyone and it's just laid back in a nice way to kind of dip your toes into it. The one thing that they are asking if you are participating is to make sure that the content that you consume is an own voices author, so by disabled people. So not necessarily just a story about a disabled character, but any story written by a disabled author. And one last thing that I'm pretty excited about is that I have been allowed to officially host one of the reading sprints for this readathon. So I'm going to be hosting a live reading sprint here on YouTube on March 12th, it's on a Monday, at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. And I would love it if you would come and join me for that, even if you're not participating in this readathon. You still just want to get some reading done by all means please come hang out with us so i just wanted to let you know that that is happening there are other reading sprints going on on other platforms as well they have some on twitter and i think maybe instagram there's a whole schedule up on the website as well so you can go check that out if mine doesn't fit with your schedule or if you want to try it somewhere else all of that will be down there for you and so now I'm just going to go through the categories and the prompts for the categories that I chose to let you know what I plan on reading. So my category one prompt is to read a children's book. And for that one, I am choosing Cinderella's Magical Wheelchair by Dual Cats. This is a children's book. It's definitely below middle grades. It's only maybe 24 pages. And as far as I can tell, it's your typical Cinderella story. Just Cinderella happens to be in a wheelchair. <laughs> For category two, I chose the prompt, read a text by a disabled trans person. And for that one, I have chosen The Last Leaves Falling by Fox Binwell. This is a story about a young boy. He's in his late teens, I believe. And he is diagnosed with ALS and it has started to progress. And so up to the point to where he's starting to feel isolated. And so he takes to the internet to find companionship, to find friendship. And that's just about all I know about the storyline. I have seen where someone has mentioned that there are discussions about end of life choices somewhere mixed into this book but I'm not entirely certain, and I will certainly fill you in when I'm finished reading it. For category three, I had originally wanted to use the prompt, read a text by someone with the same disability as you. And for that one, I had chosen This Is Not A Love Scene by S.C. McGalley. Both she and the character in her story have SMA, which is my diagnosis as well. But I ended up listening to it last month instead of saving it for this month so i have to pick a new prompt so instead i'm going to be using the prompt to read a book from the library and for that one i'm reading the bone houses by emily lloyd jones 
This is about a young girl and her two siblings who have been orphaned. Their father is missing and their mother has passed. And so they kind of all take care of each other. And Ren, the oldest, took over her father's job of being the, the, their village's local grave digger. But something about the dead in their village is that they don't stay dead. <laughs> and so they, of course, need to figure out what's going on, why is this happening, and how to stop it. And category four, my prompt is to read a book that's been on your TBR for over a year. And for that one, I'm reading the only book that I physically own. And that is The Girl from Everywhere by Heidi Hellig. This is about a girl and her father who own a ship that can travel both through water, but also through time. And somehow her father goes missing. And so she sets out on a quest through time and space to find him. That's all I plan on reading. I imagine I'll be reading more books than what I've mentioned because, you know, that one book is only 24 pages long. So I'm sure I can fit in at least one more, but these are the ones that I plan on for sure reading this month. I thank you so much for being here and I hope that means I will see you soon.